All right, guys. We thought we were lost, but we're actually at the right spot right underneath the freeway. For those of you who are new to all things FPV, since the beginning of time, if you are an FPV racer, you fly first person view. Um, traditionally, you're using a very low resolution analog video signal for all, of, for all of your flying. And for the most part, it works really well. It's not the most beautiful looking image. The hardware we'll be testing out today is going to challenge that um, and bring FPV into the world of high definition for the first time. All right, let's check this thing out. All right, get it out. Sweet. Here we go. We're testing the Conix HD viewing system. Uh, and as well as the Vuzix goggles to see how they work in an environment that's kind of surrounded by concrete and trees and obstacles and everything else that kind of goes with a flying environment that we'd be flying at. The Conix HD wireless video transmitter promises lag-free 720p video at either 30 or 60 frames per second. Paired with the Vuzix eyewear, you've got a complete high-definition FPV system. Even better, Thanks to digital channel hopping, up to 20 pilots can now fly at the same time without the risk of knocking out each other's video. We can't wait to see how this new system handles in a real world racing environment. I'm super stoked and psyched on because I'm like, dude, I want to try that. I want to suss it out because I want to see what not only what it can do, but what its limitations are. So this is the pro site. You got your HD camera here, the camera cable right there connecting to the VTX. It's a diversity VTX uh, that uses two paddle antennas right here. It runs off of 7 to 22 volts for the VTX. It's internally regulated, so the camera will get its 5 volt power directly from the VTX. My name is Chad, and I work on a YouTube channel called Right or Right with my friends. We're going to be technicals. <laughs> I'm Charpu. Charpu. <laughs> He's making video. Oh, this is fancy. Oh my gosh. The view looks amazing. I yeah. feel like I'm at the IMAX theater. Oh my goodness. What? This is like flying FPV for the first time. The detail is crazy. I can see every single leaf. I feel like I can shoot any gap. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel like uh, I'm one with the quad. Yeah, the fast movements, it feels like jittery. It's like you're losing frames. It's not, you're not, but it's just the, the slower frame rate. You can transmit video from the Connex in 30 or 60 frames per second. For anyone who's ever flown FPV before, flying 60 FPS feels right at home. It's butter smooth and feels exactly like analog. Unfortunately, due to compression needed to keep the frame rate high, flying 60 FPS is much lower quality. Here's how things look at 30 FPS lower compression and much higher quality. Now, while there's no change in latency across both frame rates, flying 30 FPS may feel like delay to some pilots, simply because it's so different from what we're used to with 60 FPS analog. The confidence that you get from shooting like tiny little gaps with shrubbery is, it goes up by like 10 easily. I'm actually almost getting motion sickness, I think. So he's got the crazy Ray Charles going right now. So Charles is holding up Ray Charles. Of course, we had to test and see if an analog video system interfered with video transmission. Okay. How about now? Yep, a little glitch, but it was fine. Okay, plugging in again. Is that it? Nothing, everything's fine. To our surprise, there was zero loss in connection. Mm, that smells good. It smells like pizza. All right, behind concrete. And wow, I mean, there was a little bit of noise, but no breakup, guys. It was obvious that the clarity of high-definition FPV blows analog out of the water. Even the camera's dynamic range, or contrast between bright highlights and shadows, left us speechless. In fact, none of us really wanted to revert back to traditional systems after we all spent the day flying. Now, when it comes to using this system on a day-to-day -day basis, we found that there's still room for improvement. The biggest thing being the lack of a high-quality 60 FPS option. It's not really first generation, but let's call it first generation. It's damn impressive. It's a hard one. It's a hard one because you, you really got you got to digest it. It's got its positives and its minuses. It really does. And it's got some serious positives and it's got some serious minuses. And you're sort of torn. They could do that 60 frames per second in that high quality. Oh my, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll jump yeah. into that for sure. No, without a doubt. Yeah. At the end of the day, we were extremely impressed. While it's still going to take a while for pilots to fully adopt high definition, this is a huge step forward. 
We can't wait to see how the Conics will continue to evolve in future generations. 